Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And today we are going to make a bow. We're going to make one of those super fun bows. I'm going to make a Halloween one. And I'm using the big ribbon because I think you'll be able to see what I'm doing better. Um, but just so you know, my pumpkin that I made, those were it was a 5 8 inch ribbon. And this is 2 and a half inch. You can use any size ribbon you want. So I will pick, you know, three of these colors. I don't know which ones. Maybe these three. I don't know. Three colors. And a pipe cleaner. And a pair of crafting scissors, not your sewing scissors. And that's all we need. That is it to make these bows. Um, and a, well, some type of measuring device. I have my quilters mat out here so I can lay it out and measure what we need. So I'm gonna change directions and I'll show you what I do. And my drink in my, let's be honest, it's the Elliott cup, is iced tea tonight. That I made with Earl Grey tea, which I love. All right, and I'll open up all these packages and show you how I cut the ribbon. Be right back. Now we have everything ready. And I did make one bow just to show you. Um, this is with a 12 inch piece of ribbon and a three inch fold. And I'm going to show you in a second. Um, you can obviously make this longer, shorter. I wouldn't go much shorter with this width of ribbon because you really want these little ends to stick out. But that's one bow. So what we're doing first off is I took and I measured out a 12 inch piece of ribbon. I actually measured out three, but for now we'll do this one. And then I fold them over. I want my ends pointed like that. Uh, dovetail, I think that is. You can also, if you want, just do, you know, side. I wouldn't leave them flat, however, flat, however, um, because I feel like that would just not be pretty. But I like mine dovetailed, so I did that. Now, I did want to show you this fun thing. I only had two pieces of this purple and black left, so I just cut a piece of polka dot to add with it. I cut three pieces of this, which appears to be double-sided. There is a wrong and a right side, but in a ribbon, you won't know the difference. And this is the same way. There is still spider webs on the back, just the gold is on the front. And then you need a pipe cleaner. What I do to prepare is I fold my pipe cleaner in half just so I know where the middle is and I lay it to the side. Now I have nine pieces of ribbon and we're going to do this twice. So for this bow, I have the orange, some this color and the, these three color, two colors here. And I have this white. So the first thing I do is I fold it in half like that you want to you can fold them all which actually will make it easier because you're going to be cinching them up in your hands so i just kind of give them all a quick half fold lay them down the beauty of wired ribbon is it will stay which is awesome <laughs> there's wellington he's got to be helping me like always well it's either wellington or alex always trying to help and I think what I'll do is put this black and white poke or black and orange pokey in the middle. And of course, any of these steps can be done in advance. If you want to, you know, cut out your ribbon, come back the next day. It doesn't take long, but you roll how you roll. Okay. So what we're going to do is take one ribbon and I squish it this way and hold it. I'm going to go up on this one, let me see, I'm measuring, about two inches on that. Then I go to the next color. So we wanna rotate. If you're really good, you can put your finger in between down here because eventually we are going to separate these two. So you can stick it over your thumb. But for now we won't do that because that's I think you need to be a little more, you know, get a couple bows on me before you try that. And let me go this way and make the next one. So we're just rotating through all the colors to make them 
um, you know, so they're all not on top of each other. You could use nine different ribbons if you wanted. It's endless. However, you want to assemble your bow. This is the basics of how to do it. You can do anything you want. You could mix the ribbon sizes um, as far as that goes. But for right now, we're going to do it like this. Now, what you could do is before you tie it off is separate your bottoms. But we'll go and do those in a second. So we take the one that's folded in half. Make sure everybody's pretty much up at the top. Some of them slid down. So you want these all up top here and even. Those are going to be your loops. And you just tie it off with your pipe cleaner. It doesn't have to be excessively tight. If you pull it too taut, you're going to end up breaking your pipe cleaner. So that's your top. Now you're going to go to your bottom. And what you want to do is push one forward, one back. Now this is not my design. I watched so, oh, duh, so many videos on how to do this. I couldn't even tell you the specific one I got this idea from. And I do apologize if it's your video. I would love to give credit and I will try to go back and find it. And if I do, I'll link it below. All right, so we've separated everybody at the bottom. So you have half and half. Where's my other piece? Oh, so I have my two here. I'm gonna bring this over and up through the center because you want to keep them separated and tighten it up again. And you can leave this on until you decide what you're gonna do with the bow. So here we have all of our, our ribbons at the bottom and we'll separate those in a minute. These loops up here, we're just gonna puff this up now. This is the benefit of wired ribbon over not wired ribbon. When you puff them and you put them where they need to be, they just kind of stay there, which obviously is ideal. But my little bow, I did not use wired ribbon. I used, it's called Grow Game. It's a little thicker of a ribbon. But you're just sticking your fingers up in here and you're just puffing everybody up. And it's just a lot of fussing that goes along. Once you've got everybody laid out where you want it, then you kind of just get these open and you want them to be all over the place. It's hard to show what I'm doing with my fingers, but I'll do another one here in a second. And you just wanna get them open. Um, what would look really pretty in here is if you use different sized ribbons. Um, and you could double up your ribbons. You could do like a smaller ribbon over a bigger one. Like I said, it's endless. But this is the basics of how to build one of these bows. So we have all of our puffies open and then go down to the bottom. You want to open up these guys and just spread them out so they fan around at the bottom. And you have, just want to make sure your print is up. And the beauty is with this extra pipe cleaner, you can tie it onto something. So if you have a wreath you want to tie it onto, um, I'm really excited to make one for Christmas. And you're just fluffing. You just keep fluffing until you get everybody where you want it and make sure everybody's open. And like I said, once you put your bows where you want these little rings, they kind of just stay there. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Is it mine? Absolutely. And this is a cheaper ribbon, so it takes a little more fluffing. Uh, more expensive ribbons are gonna have just that much more body to them. Um, and they'll probably stand up just a little better, but I don't, I mean, I think that's beautiful. And that's just how I do a basic, I don't even know what this bow is called. A fun bow, I guess. I think that's what I Googled when I found that YouTube. So we have these two. And now I have to pick up my ribbon that the silly cat knocked down. Here we go, ow. Stop. And we'll do the same thing. Whatever order you want them to go in, these are all orange and black. And again, fold them in half. 
and separate them. Now, do you see why we separate them? And I'm going to make my top puffies a little smaller on this one and see how that looks, the top loops. I really like this black ribbon. It almost looks like organza. I will tell you, however, that the sequins do fall off. They're all over my table, but that's okay. Hi, baby. Do you want to wear a bow? He said no. All right, so on this one, instead of doing two inches, I'm going to probably try to go for like an inch at the top. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Um, an inch at the top. I think that's an inch. About an inch and a half. Just to make it a little smaller. You'll end up with bigger bottom ribbon and smaller top loops is all you're going to end up with. Now, maybe the next time I did this, if I wanted bigger loops, I would do more like 16 inches instead of 12 on the ribbons that I'm cutting. Um which would just give you more to play with. And you can make your top loops bigger that way. You could do 20 inches. You just have to kind of play with it and determine how large you want your bow to be. Now, remember I said I wanted about an inch and a half up here. So I'm gonna go up a little higher. That one's a little high. So I'm gonna go up here and make those kind of small. There we go. So we got the top done. I'm gonna leave these separated. My little loop. Cause you can always pull these up too. And we're going to separate at the bottom here. And it does, it's not important if it's in the same order. The important thing is that you've separated them. So you have some up front, some in the back, so you don't have them all in one direction, unless that's how you want them, and then leave them all in one direction. Just kind of depends on what you're doing. Ooh, now we need to separate these back here. Somehow we got them whoppy jawed. Is that a word? I feel like it's a word. And this one here, no. All right, start back over, I lost, I lost my spot. All right, so one up, one back. Right, we did that. This one up, that one back. This one back, that one up. And up and back, and then one more. Okay. So I've got everybody in the pool here. I'm gonna turn it and show you that I'm just twisting it at the bottom. And again, leaving my pipe cleaner. Now look how big I made these bottom loops and the top ones are going to be tiny. By just giving it less top room and more bottom room. Um, and I can pull them up, like I said, if you want the loop a little bigger, you just pull it. It's just pipe cleaner. If it's not right, you can undo it. Just take the pipe cleaner out and your ribbons are back to where they were. Maybe a little wrinkly but they'll be back to the way you wanted them. Like I said, this is, you know, inexpensive ribbon. And for Halloween, since I don't decorate very long for Halloween, it's fine. For Christmas, I decorate for a full month. Um, and I want like buffalo check and different things like that, more rustic. So I will probably buy a little more expensive ribbon at Michael's or Joanne when it's on clearance or if we're being truthful, I'll go in my drawer that's full of ribbon and pull it out. And you just want to get your fingers in there and open them up. Oops. And this is just a lot of fluffy McFlufferton. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm liking how this turned out with the little bit in the middle, but if that's how you roll, it's cute. And then you have more tails and less fluff in the middle. Yeah, I definitely would make mine the next one bigger, but I wanted to show you that this is how it rolls. And I'll just probably keep tugging on these and make them fuller. I like to be able to see the loops. There we go. And then you just spread out your bottoms. 
your little feet down here and make everybody happy and sassy. And when you attach it, it will push it out and get your bows. So I hope that that was helpful and you enjoyed. Please thumbs up, like it, subscribe. We're doing really good here. I'm super excited. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.